In this lesson, we will examine the main features on the keypad and look at some of the important keys. I have a pre-prepared document already open for demonstration purposes. On your keypad, at the very center of your screen, you have a touchpad. It is very similar to the touchpad on a laptop. As you move your finger gently around the touchpad, you will see your cursor move around your screen. To select an object, hover over the object and then click the center of your touchpad and you have selected that object. If you want to move an object, hold down the center of the touchpad for two seconds. You will then get a closed hand symbol and you can then move your finger around the touchpad gently and move your object. When you're happy with its position, you can either press escape or click the center of the touchpad once more. Above the escape key, you will see a backwards looking arrow, that's the undo key. To access anything in blue, you have to press control first. To navigate between the different pages, you can click on the different tabs at the top of your screen. It will take you to your different pages. Alternatively, if you press control and then press the right arrow, it will go one page to the right. If you press control and then the left arrow, it will take you one page to the left. If you press control and then your up arrow, it will give you a list of all of the pages that you have open in your document. You can navigate to that page, press enter, and it will take you to that page. Under the escape key, you have the scratch pad key. By pressing the scratch pad key, you go into scratch pad mode. Every time you press that scratch pad key, you can toggle between the calculator and graphing mode in scratch pad. To exit, press the X at the top right hand side of your screen. The dock key will give you a list of document features that will be discussed in another lesson in this series. Press escape to exit that menu. Above the dock key, you will see add page in blue. So to access that, press control and then add page. You then insert whichever application you like. I'm going to insert a new calculator application. It puts in a new calculator page for me. Under the dock key, you have menu. If I press menu, it gives me a list of the menu items associated with the application that I currently have open. It will be different for each application. Press escape to exit that. Let's talk about the tab key. If I press menu, I come down to say finance as an example, come across and choose option one, which is finance solver. I can go between my different entry boxes by pressing the tab key. Every time I press tab, it will take me to the next entry box. Press escape to exit that. If I wanna change the contrast of my screen, I can do that by pressing the control and then the, either the plus or minus key. Control plus will make your screen brighter. Control minus will make your screen darker. Above the key number nine, you'll see var. If you press var, it will give you a list of the variables that are stored on your calculator. Press escape to exit that. Under the control key, you will see the equal symbol. Above that, you've got some other mathematical symbols. To see those, press control equals. You'll see the inequality and conditional formatting commands. Press escape. Next to the equals sign, you have the trig button. Press that and you can access any of the trig ratios. Press enter to choose the one that you want. If I want to undo that command, control, 
escape will undo that. Next to the number nine, I have the math template. Pressing that will give me all of the math templates that I may wish to choose. I navigate to the one that I want, press enter, and it will give me a math template. To the right of that, you have the catalog button. Pressing that, you've got a series of tabs across the top. The first tab gives you a list of all of the built-in commands on the calculator in alphabetical order. The second tab contains all of the math functions. The third tab gives you standard measurement units. The fourth tab gives you special characters and symbols. The fifth tab is the math template again. And the sixth tab is the public library. Press escape to exit that. Towards the bottom of your keypad, next to the letter H, you will see the pi symbol. Press that, it opens up another template, and you can choose some of those mathematical symbols there as well, if you like. Pressing escape will close that. That is all for this lesson. Be sure to check out the other lessons in this series.